You'll get Essen, 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 Essen. Chances are, if you were one of the millions of people who visited the Catskill Mountains, you didn't come home hungry. Food and lots of it were the watchwords of the mountains. But how much is a lot, Joel Siegel tells us in his special series, Memories of the Catskill. <laughs> Roz, in its heyday, the Catskill spent more money on entertainment than any place in the world, but they spent more than that on sour cream. Six main courses on the menu, order them all. I won't say I did that, but after lunch one day they told me I was the guy who put the gross in Grossinger's. And it's true, food makes up most of our tastiest memories of the Catskills. Waiter, I, I don't eat like this at home. I don't. I don't eat like this. And she's sitting on two chairs while she's saying. Some of it's because of the way the Catskills started. Family farms taking in borders at the turn of the century. The food was served family style. Fresh eggs and milk were hard to come by in the city. Second, sure, you're part of the family. But somehow, things got carried away. Herring boats are coming with bagels and lard. Herring boats are coming with stinking Heinbana. You get a menu when you sit down, and the menu lists seven juices, four choice of four soups, four appetizers, seven main courses, and eight desserts. And if you want one of each, you can have them. In the dining room, they look at the menu, which was always lots and lots and lots of stuff, and they'd say, yes. <laughs> We'll uh, try it. What a beach. <laughs> it's different today. We know it's just not healthy to eat that much, so Catskill's patrons and waiters have become masters of psychology. Why don't we split something? I'll have a half of yours, you'll have a half of mine, a half here, a half there, because I couldn't eat a whole one. And when you can't find someone to share and you want a taste of a main course, have a little on the side. Then I'll have two pieces of fish, and I'll have the blintzes for a side dish, or the pancakes for a side dish or an eggplant for a side dish. They always eat, I would say, an average three, four main dishes. Al Shiner has been a Catskills waiter for 43 years. So you better eat something. You didn't eat anything. Otherwise, we're going to send you home on the bus. He's at the Raleigh, and what's for dinner? Gefilte fish, matzo ball soup, brisket of beef, chicken, steak, veal, fish, eight desserts, fruit soup. That's to start, not dessert. Borscht, well, it's the borscht belt. And don't forget, something for later. They take the Danish and put it in their bags or the rolls and put it in their bags, yeah. Like Mao Z. Lawrence used to say, for later, for later. No, these are not for now. We have for now. These are for later. We'll have these with coffee February 23rd. Sunday breakfast, which, if you play your cards right, can run into Sunday brunch, which is soon Sunday lunch. And just in case you get hungry in between. Uh, whitefish aside, just a side of whitefish, just... Bring the side of Moby Dick out here. The dining room at the Concord the size of five football fields can hold 3,000 people. The guy who built it, the joke went, wouldn't be happy until one of his waiters could shout out a guest, sorry, that's not my state. Some of the reason are the dietary laws, you can't mix milk and meat, but the real secret behind Jewish cuisine is poverty. This isn't food people ate, this is food people dreamt of. In Eastern Europe, Jews were so poor, breakfast was black bread and a radish. If you had a radish, if you could find a piece of black bread. But this is America. This is the Catskills. It's on the menu. It's included. You eat. At the Concord, they break 70,000 glasses a year, which doesn't include weddings, and serve up 20 tons of sour cream a year, which doesn't include concerts. I was doing the barber sitting the figure aria, the barber. So they had a guy, a poor, <laughs> a poor waiter, they put him in a chair with a thing around him. And I had to walk out with a bowl, not shaving cream, sour cream. <laughs> so I walked out, put sour cream on this poor guy's face with a razor, and sing the Barbara Seville. And after the show, on a long walk to the room, you can bet the waiter wished he'd saved some for later. Sour cream, yes, a big bowl. Big, we love it, a big bowl. The Super Bowl, bring the Super Bowl out here. <laughs> My favorite Catskills joke, a guest says, the food here is poison, and her friend says, and such small portions. The Catskills spawned a million jokes and a thousand comics to tell them tomorrow we'll meet the funniest and the most famous memories of the Catskills, where the three little words that set everyone's heart aflame were breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs>